Hi Aries, I'm Jennifer. I've got the cards all shuffled and ready to go. I'm just going to shuffle one more time and we'll get right into your reading and find out what messages spirits have for you. This will be for the end of November, going into December. And the cows are really loud outside. Hopefully you guys can hear them. I really like it. Okay, so let's find out what's going on, Aries. Spirits, what does Aries need to know? We have the Three of Wands. You're waiting for something, Aries. There's something here that you're waiting for. It's in the distance, and it is showing up. It is coming in for you. We have the Six of Cups. You know, sometimes this has to do with an X or a soulmate connection. We're going to go back and clarify the cards. I have the Three of Pentacles here, so I am seeing you working on something with other people. You're building something together. I've got Scorpio energy here with the death card. There's something that could be coming to an end. This could be a rebirth too, though. There's... <clears throat> Whatever this is that you're waiting for, Aries, it's like it's showing up here in your energy, but these pentacles... It's like really, really, really slow. Really slow. And then we have the moon. So there's things that you're not quite seeing clearly. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Why is the three of wands here? I have the page of cups, judgment, and the eight of pentacles. For some of you, you know, there's there's something here that I feel like you you thought, like you kind of are thinking like this isn't going to happen, but it's something that you want. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, but there's a judgment call being made here. There's someone... Um, showing up here with an emotional message about a judgment call they're wanting to work on a connection with you and this is someone from your past something where it's completely over done why is the six of cups here This is someone that you could have little to no communication with. It's coming back to life, Aries. There's someone here that you're not talking to or talking to very little. Um, they're kind of in hermit mode. But um, they want to heal this connection with you. This is a new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. And it shows up on top of a soulmate connection. This could be someone that you've known for a very long time. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, see, a reunion. Oof. Tower. Why is the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck? I don't know, Aries. Are you, are you even interested in this? Because I have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Someone else is choosing a new path. Someone is coming towards you. Someone wants to have it all with you. There could be a third party involved here that causes a tower moment. 
The Three of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Somebody's really, really up in their head about you. They want a reconciliation with you, but they're feeling stuck. They're stuck in their head about this. They don't want to um, let it go. They want this connection with you. I'm going to find out why the tower is here. Why is the tower here? This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Yeah, there's there's heavy energy here, Aries, of someone that's going to be contacting you. Probably by internet, text message. They're really feeling like this, the Nine of Swords. This is someone who's in their mind. They're completely focused and stuck in their mind about you. About this reconciliation with you. It's someone who has a lot of love for you, but they're not outwardly showing it. So it's like I say, there could be little to no communication with this person. They're keeping quiet. They're keeping their feelings to themselves right now. But something's about ready to break. This person will be sending you text messages or internet messages. Something that's dead over. They want to rebirth this. Why is death here? Could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. They see you as a wish fulfillment, Aries. They see you. They see you as everything. They want to offer you it all. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is what everyone wants. This could be a blended family, but they want to offer you it all. This is someone that um, that feels like you are their happiness. You are their home. You know, they feel safe with you. But there's some type of a conflict here. This person could be fighting some type of inner battle about this. But they are coming towards you, Aries. They're showing up very, very slowly. They're coming to maybe apologize. They have something for you. Or they have something for you. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? This is someone who's made a plan. It's this energy of someone who's really stuck in their head about you. This could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a Pisces, the Eight of Cups. See, this is someone who's walking away from a different situation um, and they're going from, from being like this, from being stuck in their head about you because this is someone who didn't take action for a long time Aries but now they are this is like someone running towards you this is someone taking action running towards you now why is the knight of pentacles here This could be someone <clears throat> someone where there was ghosting. That may be why I'm seeing the Four of Cups, but this is someone taking a leap of faith. They, This is someone sincerely wanting to offer you it all now. So very strong energy of someone taking a leap of faith. They're handing you this. This is like... A brand new beginning and I feel like you don't see this coming 
It's really going to surprise you, shock you. Why is the moon here? Yeah, see? Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is probably a very nice looking, kind, kind person, Aries. You can see this knight is carrying flowers. This person has an emotional message for you. This person loves you. This is someone who's been watching you manifesting you they see you as their forever they've been thinking about you all the time the energy here is this person thinking and thinking and thinking and can't get you out of their mind and um they're watching you somehow watching you maybe on social media um asking about you and you don't see this And with the Seven of Pentacles here, it's like, I feel like, they could be waiting for something. Let me clarify. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, Spirits? Could be dealing with the Capricorn, the Devil just fell out. Ooh. Okay, so I feel like see this is someone coming to speak truth to you. Someone um here you are, Aries. Could be dealing with a Leo. There's someone coming to tell you truth. There's also something new coming into your life, Aries, that's going to make you very, very happy. It can be like a new job, a raise, something very successful. Um, you could be in the public eye where people are watching you, cheering you on. But the yes card, the sun card is here, the happiest card in the tarot deck. But this person right here, Aries, I'm not sure if you want this person back or not, but this is someone from your past. <clears throat> this is someone who wants to, I mean, it's like I'm getting this energy of they want to sneak away and go towards you. There's like a, the Seven of Swords is here sitting next to the Seven of Pentacles. It's like they're waiting to sneak away and come towards you. Because there's, there's something in your life, in their life. It may not be another connection with another person. It could be. But I'm not really seeing another person here. There's something here that, that is coming to an end in this person's life. And they're moving towards you. They could be at a distance from you, this person. But there's some type of earned success here. Something that's going to be very successful, Aries. That you, I feel like you've put in a lot of work for. That you've been manifesting. You've had to find uh, information on this, whatever it is. But I'm seeing this is something that you've earned. Something pulling you forward out of rocky water into calm water. Something that you've waited for. Is showing up here. Something that's going to be bigger bigger than what you realize it is. Let me grab a couple of Moonology cards for you, Aries. And we'll get advice from the spirits. Okay. 
What does Aries need to know, Spirit? Ooh, geez. Yeah, don't let your past hold you back. That's what I was saying. For some of you, you don't want this person back. And emotions are running high. This is someone that could have betrayed you. Take time to breathe out. It's kind of like there's something here that you're working on that's going to be much bigger than what you think it is, Aries. You and your loved ones are safe is on the bottom of the deck. So, um, stay away from this person if you're, you know, if this is not a good person. For some of you, this is an okay person. I'm not really seeing anything really terrible here about this person. But for some of you, this could be someone who was being sneaky. Someone that betrayed you. Someone that kept secrets. But I'm getting two different storylines with this reading. I'm seeing like a happy family. Maybe a blended family. Maybe a dog. And then I'm seeing like um, a different storyline here of someone being sneaky. So take it as it resonates, Aries. And um, these are the messages I have for you. I hope they help, Aries. And I send you guys lots of love and light. Thank you so much for watching. And... Um, I will see you guys later. Namaste.